Well, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and they say the way to someone's heart is through their stomach. I know it is for me. One student in Pine Bluff is hoping his sweet tooth and culinary knowledge will inspire others to share the love. Our own Ashley Godwin has this story. I decided to offer this to, to the student body. I love this school so much. From the football field to the kitchen, Colby McNeil is now showing off another passion of his. I always make it with love. That's, that's what makes it great. He started sweets in a jar, baking cakes and other desserts out of his home. The idea behind the small cakes, an on-the-go campus life where no home cooking was found. Um, it's hard, especially out here, it's hard to get them homemade food, the home, them homemade meals, and it's, and it's so like underrated. It's like, ah, breath of fresh air, I got my homemade dessert. It's got frosting on it. It's all from scratch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It was like so pretty, I don't even want to like get into it. Mm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. You know, I got my red velvet, I have a uh, vanilla cake, I have my strawberry cake, uh, that pretty girl, I have my 7-Up cake. But one flavor is closest to his heart, honey bun cane for his brother. He has epilepsy, so um, his favorite snack to eat is honey buns. I've been doing that because I'm trying to build um, a, a foundation for people with epilepsy so they can uh, ride for free um, with the Ubers. Colby says he wants to show cooking in a different light, showing young people the culinary arts can be for everyone. I want to make cookbooks. I want to have co cooking classes and everything. Teaching kids, like, it's cool to be a cook. It's cool to cook. You know, ladies actually love it.